Hello everyone, James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we have a very brief video on something that is very near and dear to my heart. And that is the Hidden Woodsman belt pouch. Now, if you've been watching our channel for any length of time, you'll see this constantly because I carry one on my belt almost every single day. And I have a small collection. In fact, I actually have one on me right now. But this is the newer rendition, so we're just going to give you a brief rundown on it and reasons why I like it so much. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. Now, you may ask yourself, what's the point of a belt pouch in our modern day times where we have backpacks and cargo pants and stuff like that? And honestly, it's not something that you would necess... It's not a necessity, but it's just, I think, something that's really old school cool. Now, you look at the old documents and pictures and stuff like that of settlers and frontiersmen, mountain men, and they all had pouches on them for their ammunition, for whatever stuff they needed to be out there exploring. So that already adds a romanticism. You know, in, you know we're, we're that genre. We like haversacks and stuff like that. So that fits right into it. Now also, coming from someone who admits, you know, they're, they're a geek. I grew up with comic books, and I grew up with Star Wars, and, and Boba Fett had his pouches, and he just looked so cool, and you just wondered what he carried in there. And so for me, that looks really cool, and as such, I carry my pouch on me every day. I just think it looks cool as well as being functional. Now, 90% of the time, guys, to be honest, it's empty, and then when I'm outdoors, when I go outdoors, I fill it up with tinder. So, dead grass, uh, stuff like that, some cattail shoots, um, some dry ones, or pine pitch. I'll carry that, I'll put that in there. You may be out camping or hiking, and it may be a pleasant day, and a fire is easy to make. And then the next day, when you're out camping, the storm can come snow you can find yourself getting injured and so you're not at optimal strength to get a fire going you know during rough conditions so something like this that next fire mentality can really just make a difference so i always have nice grass in here nice and dead uh tinder to get that going now of course there's other uses it's all up to your imagination what you would like to put in a belt pouch during summer i do put shotgun shells in here when i'm out rabbit hunting because it's just easy access i don't want to carry a lot of stuff make a lot of noise so that helps me during summer um, I could see a parent, you know, if you're taking your kids out hiking or camping, you know, kids get careless, they scrape themselves, get a boo-boo. I could see this as a little portable first aid kit. So you can have some bandages, some ointment, some gauze, uh, stuff like that. Ibuprofen, Benadryl. So that can make a difference. I could see that once again. And then just to get creative, guys, I just decided to just make this a little bit more fun. And with my newer one, I decided to make an emergency survival kit. So say I step away from camp for whatever reason and I don't have my pack and I don't have obviously my tent and stuff like that. And I get lost. I get injured. This can help me out at least until I get help or I get back to camp. So let's uh, take a look at what I packed it. Now, you're going to be surprised at the stuff it has because it doesn't even look like it's taking up much space. All right, folks, so very brief improvised survival kit, very bare bones, but essentials. We have, first of all, a little flashlight. Now, not the strongest flashlight, but something small, portable that can fit in here as a backup. We have an improvised container. This comes from the Sawyer Mini, and you can open this up to hold some water. Now, of course, we do have the Sawyer Mini water filter to help purify water complements the container we have a bandana of course a, a thousand uses for a bandana and uh, probably the most used item in here honestly we have a hank of a bank line so cordage if you needed to just improvise a shelter or a clothesline to dry yourself off dry your stuff off if you got wet exotac fire starting tinder these are fatwood splinters We've been testing this out lately, and a little tin can fit in here. Once it runs out, you can, of course, make char cloth with it. Large six inch ferro rod. And once again, it's a large ferro rod and it could fit in there just fine. So a source of ignition right there. Secondary source of ignition is another Exotac item that we're testing. And this is the Exotac fire sleeve. So it goes with your big lighter and it just helps keep things waterproof, safe from the elements. And once again, a second source of fire. 
Now for cover, we have two simple mylar blankets if you wanted to improvise a shelter if you're away from camp once again, or at least just to keep yourself warm. Just keep that body heat with you. We got two of them. We got a straw for the Sawyer Mini. And last item is our backup cutting tool. Now this being on my belt, I'm obviously also gonna have a fixed blade, but in case I needed a secondary one, we got a small cutting tool, the Victorinox Pioneer right here. So we got a knife, bottle opener, flathead screwdriver, can opener, smaller flathead screwdriver, and a reamer. So yeah, I'm really, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Victorinox knives, so check that out. Not, you know, the biggest pack, not a bug out bag, but as you can tell, I have the basic five C's of survival that I was able to fit in here. Well, folks, that's just a couple of configurations that you can do with your Hidden Woodsman belt pouch. Once again, it's just all up to your imagination and what you're out here doing this time of season, so on and so forth. But this is my favorite item that Malcolm makes, and he has a ton of great stuff. And I think this is a great jumping off point for anyone that's interested in the Hidden Woodsman, but you're afraid of making that commitment of dropping something like 80 bucks or 100 bucks on something. Get yourself something like this so you can check out the, qual the quality and the craftsmanship of just what he makes. So once again, 100% made in America, you know, handcrafted, supporting small businesses, and that's, you know, he's one of us. So that's what I really like, and that's why I'm very proud to carry his stuff and show it off. So I'll put the link below to thehiddenwoodsman.com so you guys can check out his other stuff, and that's about it for us. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.